Listen, it's always good to see you, and I'm, I'm glad we're catching up again. But uh, it's obviously under these circumstances that is not uh, ideal. You know, you're you're dealing with some some stuff right now, and I think it's been kind of put out into the public just recently. But you and I have had knowledge of, uh, you know, some of the things that you've been dealing with for a while. But mm. kind of, um, first of all, why why did you decide to come out and speak about it publicly? Yeah. So just, yeah, for those listeners that haven't sort of caught up on it, I've, um, I was diagnosed with a, a, a autoimmune disorder called CIDP, um, which is a, which stands for chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, mm, <laughs> which basically right. means that your body is kind of uh, eating itself, but in my, my, my tissue, but in my case, it's actually attacking the nerve lining. So um, and it generally starts at your perimeter, like your, your hands and, and feet. And it's affected my feet to start with and it kind of moves up your body. Um, so, yeah, I've lost a fair bit of function and mobility and, um, and just, yeah, overall kind of um, fatigue. And it's, it's sort of, you know, it affected me greatly. Like, um, you know, it, just basic things like just getting around pool deck and um, moving around just from... You know, I have to re really like plan everything that I do from where I park the car to, you know, even <laughs> what gate I get off at at the airport or things like that. So it's, um, it's, it's been a pretty tricky time to, to try and shift my identity and try and shift my sort of focus and, you know, try and make something positive out of it. But it's definitely a, a really sort of tricky, uh, tricky time for not just myself, but everyone around me from family and friends and my loved ones. So. Um, we've all had to adapt. So yeah, it's uh, so in that time since you know since we last spoke, and um, you know things even last year, I was in kind of a, a rem kind of remission stage. Um, but when we first kind of um, discovered it, when I was with you in 2019 doing the clinics, and um, I was starting to feel a lot of fatigue. I was losing muscle mass in my legs, and um, so it was started to sort of slowly creep into my everyday life but it um it took a real big turn in that year actually within 12 months i was um i had a big foot drop which is where you you can't really control your i mean swimmers actually generally have pretty good flanter and dorsiflexion but mm. mine's just really floppy and I, I don't really control my foot so um yeah i've started having to wear um a special sort of braces it's called afos to keep my my toes up so i don't trip up over myself and um, using a walking stick or, or crutches, but um, yeah, so it's been a pretty pretty challenging period. But the reason I decided to um, to come out with it publicly, it's probably two or three reasons to be honest. One is that I was being asked a lot of questions, what's wrong, mm. and you know, most of the time I could get away with saying, oh, it's my back or it's still my ankle, or but it got to a stage where people could visibly see that there was something wrong with my legs. They mm. sort of faded away to a pretty you know, <laughs> I was I had generally fairly big calves for a swimmer, and they kind of disappeared, which was a bit of a shame. And then, um, yeah, so then also I started. You know, COVID was a good excuse for me not having to, you know, turn up to things, or it was a great excuse. And um, and now COVID is over. I've started saying no to a lot of requests, and um, and I, you know, it's not me. You know, I prefer to be honest with people, especially when it comes to my health. And then um lastly I, I think it's you know it's a disease that is feel relatively unknown and it's uh one that doesn't have a great deal of i guess support and awareness so um i just thought that if hopefully someone with my profile can you know raise the awareness of the disorder we can you know get closer to maybe finding new treatments and mm. maybe um yeah just i guess be more progressive into the research